mean, anybody who knows me knows that I spent, you know, 22 years in the Marines, and I had to, you know, kind of give up a little bit of my hunting. So, admittedly, I'm not the expert turkey hunter, but I told Zach, hey, listen, we just need to understand our prey a little bit. My understanding is they have 28 distinct calls that they make. They putt, they purr, they gobble, they cluck. I say putt already? There's a lot. And what I told Zach is, we just try to kind of mimic what they're doing, because I'm not really good enough yet to talk the language of the gobbler and get him to think I'm just a hot hen to come right into me. You gotta love that. He's right straight at uh, nine o'clock. He's a little closer than the other ones, but I don't, I don't see him yet. I just heard him. So what are you thinking right now? I don't know. First and foremost, my son Zachary and I teamed up as a father and son team, headed to Oklahoma to the Hoodow Ranch. We met up with George and Terry Collins and their son Jim and tried to kind of relive some of the experiences my brother and I had there last year. Zach is pretty new to hunting, but he loves any opportunity he can just to get with me and go spend some quality time out in the field. Zachary's never killed a bird before. He hasn't hunted turkey, only been kind of like my bird dog on my side when I've done it. So I was pretty excited to see him put his skills to the test and join me in the field and see if we couldn't put down a turkey in Oklahoma. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. All right. One of the funnest moments that we had in Oklahoma was on an evening hunt, we tried to ambush some of the birds coming off the mountain. And it was quiet, quiet, quiet. Zach had whispered to me, I don't think they're here. I don't think they're coming. I said, just be patient. Every once in a while, we could hear a cluck. They were up in the pinion junipers up above us. I said, they're going to come back down. They're going to go through this field, and they're going to head off to roost. Sure enough. This tom comes walking down the spine of a small finger off this little plateau, followed by a bunch of hens. I was a little bit surprised that he was in the lead, but he was the one most curious about the small decoys we had sitting out in front of us. He didn't put on much of a show. He just cautiously approached, entered our lane. Everything is perfect. Dad's got the camera on him. We're ready to shoot this bird. Zach's got his 20 gauge leveled out and he's getting ready to pull the trigger and he asked me if it's okay. I said, you can let her rip. Click. We had a dry fire. Well, I didn't want to go through the whole immediate action drill trying to get him another round. So I reached over and I handed him my 12 gauge. By the time we got that said and done, he asked me how much it kicked, and I was like, it doesn't matter, shoot the darn bird. <laughs> well, that big old Tom got away from us, but it didn't matter. You know what that meant for us? Is Zach still had a tag, and we still had more days to hunt. Last morning that we were there at the Hoodow Ranch, George had told us, hey, why don't you go in there, back up against this rock near this cedar tree, and see if you guys can't set up a better shot opportunity for Zach. And I, I told Zach, I said, we gotta just get in there as early as we possibly can, get set up as quietly as we possibly can, and then just wait. I said, and your daddy's not gonna move. I said, we don't have many opportunities left, so we gotta make this one count. And out of my blind spot, I look around, and I see a hen peek her head up. It was nearly perfect. My legs shaking on the ground, the anticipation's high, Zach's wondering when he, when he can shoot. 
where the toms are going. And he looks at me, he's like, can we double? And I looked over and two toms are coming in side by side. I said, you darn right we can double. I said, son, I said, we'll shoot these birds together and we'll film them. It's gonna be great. And the toms come in and they turn right towards us. We got one on the left and one on the right. And Zach and I already knew it. He's gonna kill the one on the left, I'd kill the one on the right. Didn't matter, we had a plan. But something about these turkeys, they never follow our plan. So the birds come walking in, and right about the time that I'm gonna pick up that shotgun and we're gonna have a double, they turn around and walk the other way. And I told Zach, I said, if you wanna shoot, you just need to stand up, you need to level your gun, and you need to let her rip. Boom, he put her down. And it was awesome. But I'm sorry, son, I didn't get it on video. Congratulations, Zach. I love you, son. What an amazing trip that was. I just want to give a heartfelt thanks to George and Terry Collins. And Jimmy, thank you so much for welcoming us into your home. That's a beautiful place. They sell Angus beef. You can come to my website where you can get a hold of the Hoodow Ranch and figure out how you can buy some Angus beef. And they're just incredible people. Not to mention, they also sell a few turkey hunts too. So with that said, it was time for Zach and I to pack up our isolation machine and head south to Texas. Oh yeah. Zachary and I are headed to Texas down into the panhandle there. The winds are blowing hard. And um, bottom line is we're just trying to figure out if we can get something done. So it was time for Zach and I to head south to Texas. And we met up with Jim and Dee Phipps at the Phipps Ranch down in Wellington to see if we couldn't shoot some more turkey. Zach looked at me and said, Dad, he goes, you know what? He goes, I've killed one turkey already. He goes, why don't you kill a turkey? I said, well, son, I've killed turkey before and I'm just kind of here for you right now. And he said, I don't want to shoot a bird until you shoot one. We talk about the plan and what we're going to do and what the weather's going to be like and where the best place to go is and where I'm going to set up our hasty blind. So we show up out at the ranch a little bit later than what I'd like. I mean, the glow is already pretty prominent. And when I shut the truck door, you can hear the turkeys gobble in the distance. God, I hear them over there. There. What, over here? Yeah, over there. I had no idea we were being outflanked by the birds. I looked at Zach and I said, you know you're my cameraman, right? And he pulled up and he filmed that tom all the way into that set. And in about five minutes, boom. Good job, go get him. I got it. Tell me right now. You did a good job. <laughs> How did we pull that off? <laughs> How did we pull minutes. that off, dude? Oh my god, I was freaking out. I was like, we are late, late, late. And uh, look at this, dude. We got the first five minutes. <laughs> Holy smokes. I just want to say thank you, Jim. Thank you, Dee. Properties that they have are beautiful. They're small, but they're well maintained, and they're just an all-around great family. So thank you, Jim and Dee, for hosting Zach and I on our little excursion down to Texas.